I want you to watch this little skit in exchange that I did because I know a lot of you have probably either been on one or the other side or like at any given time of your life on this. Watch this and we'll circle back around. All right, I'm out. I'll see you later. Woo, it's going to be fun. You're not going skydiving, are you? Like you're kidding me, right? You're going to be 52 years old. You have a lot of responsibilities. What if something happens? Why are you going skydiving? Oh, you must have misunderstood me telling you I was going skydiving in asking you. Your opinion in my actions are not warranted. I was just telling you where I was going. And if it's not something that you would do, then you don't have to come skydiving. But when it comes to me making my own decisions, even if it makes you uncomfortable, that's your thing to process, not mine. Me, however, I'm getting ready to go hop on this plane. I don't understand it. I just think it's irresponsible. I just don't think it's a good decision for you. And whatever, do whatever you want. But I really think it's a bad idea. I really think it's stupid. Going forward, I'm probably not going to include you in any, in many of my decisions. But as for me right now, see this plane? I'm getting ready to go skydiving. Woo! Yes, this is so important. This is people inflicting their autobiography upon you. This is their fears. This is their experiences. They are trying to inflict that on you. Now in their mind, okay, so we're not, remember, we're always giving people compassion. We're not going to judge where they are, but you have to still protect your peace to do the things. Yes, listen to people. They are allowed to have a voice. This doesn't mean that you have to change your mind because of their situation. Now, this was a tough one, I think, for me to learn, especially having children, you know, especially as my like adult children and things like that, because I know I've been through things. I know that I've experienced things. And as I see them walking through that door to do that similar experience, I want to jump out in front and be like, no, you don't want to do this. Oh my God, you don't want to do this. You are going to make your life so much harder. You can't do this. It's going to hurt your feelings. Blah, da, 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 da right? And so, yes. So you have to understand that this is where you also, it's one thing like in, in that example, I'm going to go skydiving, right? And I said 52 because today is my birthday. You are watching this on my 52nd birthday, baby. Yes, I'm celebrating it with you. And Dunkin' Donuts, of course. Mm. And yeah, somebody might look and be like, oh my God, you're going skydiving? Wait, why are you going skydiving? Like, that's dangerous. What if something happens? That's your fear. See, you can't allow other people's fears and concerns and overstresses to railroad you, especially if you're already not confident in your own choices, right? Because sometimes, you know, I'm an exposure person. Like, that's literally what I do with my clients. So if you fear it, we're going to do it. So, of course, you're already going to be a little like, oh, gosh, maybe it's not skydiving. Maybe it's driving. Maybe it's something else. So you're like, oh God, okay, oh God, okay. Uh. And then all you need is somebody's voice to go, are you sure? Shouldn't you be nervous? You go, oh my God, yes. Yes, I should. And again, people aren't always trying to control you, right? They're coming from a place of love. They're coming from a place of fear, but they're also inflicting that upon you. They might know somebody who unfortunately the parachute did not open, Okay, which happens, it's bad, right? But does that mean that every person who goes up there that that's gonna happen? No, could I understand why this person's friend's sister, when she heard this and then heard you were going skydiving, she got paranoid and panicked. She's allowed that. And you can say, listen, I understand your fears, but it's not helping me. And I appreciate your, your feedback and I'll take that into consideration. If in fact you're going to take it, in, don't lie. Just say, oh, I appreciate your feedback if you're not going to take it into consideration. And it's always good to hear, right? It's always, you know, it's always good to listen to somebody, you know, listen to opinions and, you know, just listen, listen. You don't have to take it all in. But if they, you know, and you go, yeah, because sometimes they will give you a different viewpoint. Well, you know... I don't think Bill has had his pilot license long enough to go up in a plane. Okay, that might be accurate. I don't think I'm just because Bill just got his pilot's license to take me up to go skydiving. You're right. I probably shouldn't get in the plane with Bill, but I'm going to go get into the plane with an actual long-term driver. You're right. So be open, but don't allow it to sway your life. You Because I'm going to tell you right now, that created so... It wasn't my mom's fault. I mean, it was, but it wasn't like 
she, her panic, her, this is back in the seventies and early eighties. Her anxiety was, I mean, she was a phobia of everything. Everything was death. Everything was going to die. Everything was like, oh my gosh, do this. You're going to get shot. Oh my God. Like everything was like hyper vigilant. And I was like, it has created an enormous amount of anxiety that I've since worked through and it's still where we're at. And I go, oh God, that's mom stuff. Right? So you have to be careful of your own stuff. When you see somebody go, listen, you can give your feedback, but also only give feedback if it's asked. Now, if I go, hey, mom, um, and Bill just got his pilot's license. I think we're going to go up there so I can go skydiving. What do you think about that? Well, now I've opened myself up to debate, but here's the problem with that. If you don't trust yourself, you're always going to be waiting for somebody else's approval and their guidance to tell you what to do, right? So, and she goes, well, I don't think you should go skydiving at all, right? And I go, okay, well, that's fair, but I am going to go skydiving. Like, that's happening. Do you think I should go with Bill? And she'll probably be like, uh, no. If you must go skydiving, I would suggest you go with somebody like go to a pilot school. I mean, go to like a, a skydiving place. I'm like, oh, you're right. Actually, that makes sense. Now you're putting parameters on what it is that you want feedback on, right? Because if you leave that open-ended, they're going to put in their own autobiography. But if you go, I am going skydiving, okay? She can hate it all she wants. I am going. Who do you think I should go with? If in fact you're asking. But this is why you cannot also from your own perspective, especially if you have adult children like I do uh, and a 16 year old that you're like, oh God, you're making your life harder, so much harder. But they have to also make their own mistakes, find their way, do their things. They have to, they have to, because if you get abducted by aliens or hit by a bus today and they do not have resilience because you keep trying to prevent everything for them, they are going to be lost. How do you think we learned? We learned from the school of hard knocks, right? You touch the fire, you're like, oh, whoa, I don't want to touch that fire again. After they told you 64 times not to touch the fire. So be careful of allowing people to have all that access, which is also why you want to be careful of what you tell people. Everybody doesn't need to know everything. You also don't need to tell anybody you're going skydiving until you have the video and it's Thanksgiving and you're like, oh, guess what I did in June? Then let them get mad. Why didn't you say anything? Oh my God. I would, oh my God, I would have told you not to go. That's why I didn't say anything. If you know what you're dealing with. And let me tell you, people are not always malicious. They're not always trying to control the narrative. They're not always trying to be my way or the highway. They are often coming from often, not always, coming from a good place. But you don't have to listen to that because it's going to be problematic. And then the person is going to keep trying to sway you. And then there is, sometimes people will even get mad Right. So let's say that same scenario, skydiving, um, you know, you say, OK, well, I am going to go skydiving. If you go skydiving, I'm not talking to you. Are you kidding me? That's so scary. You're going to I'm going to be a nervous wreck. Whoa. How did we make this about you? You're allowed to be a nervous wreck. But why are we making this about you? You have to understand very often people will try to do that. Oh, I was petrified for you. You're allowed to be. But that's why you want to be really careful of what you share. And everybody doesn't need to know everything. And everything doesn't need to be over-explained. And, oh, but I'm going skydiving because I'm just really trying to face my fear of heights. And, ah, oh, well, you could just walk across a bridge. Why do you have to skydive? Now we're negotiating it. You're giving too many people a door into your life. And then you're getting frustrated. But you're literally going, here's the key to the door. Open the door. Walk through. So I want you to be mindful of that. So what are some things that you have said? Love to know in the comments. What are some things that you have learned, not said, that you have learned about keeping to yourself? Number one, like any goals and things that you're doing. Number one, there's a two-parter here. And number two, where can you improve on not inflicting your fears and autobiographies onto others? Because it's about that, right? So... I'm 52, baby, and I got to celebrate it with you. I love you guys so much, and I appreciate you more than you'll ever know.
go take some chances. Go jump out of a plane if you want. 